All right, so I'm gonna give you a close up of the grill, and I'm gonna give you a kind of like a, a step by step kind of tutorial kind of thing. I don't really have the materials right now to do it, but I can show you what I did. Check it out. All right, so when Plasti dip in the grill, all I did was all along here, the hood, all along the hood, the, the daytime running lights, right? And along here, I put painter's tape, just taped it off, taped it off, and then I just threw some plastic over it. So before you start painting, make sure you clean it up, you know? Oh, I just left a fingerprint there. Look at that, that's dirty. But um, make sure you clean it up real nice. You know, take it to a little car wash or whatever, or hand wash it, however you wanna do it. And then make, take some rubbing alcohol in a rag, put the alcohol on the rag and just wipe it down. Wipe the areas down that you wanna plasti dip. Sorry, these bugs are back. So if you can see back there, you see the grill back the um radiator back there. Or the fins, you see the fins back there rather. You don't have to worry about covering that up because the plastic dip don't even go back there. It doesn't even reach. As soon as you spray it on here, that's it. Like you can see inside. Look at the fins. The fins have no color on them at all. The plastic dip never even made it back there. So you don't have to worry about that. All you have to cover up is any parts you don't want to paint. Or you don't want to plastic dip. Meaning the DRLs, your hood. And then even if you get some plastic dip on it, all you got to do is rub it right off and it comes off. You know, you well, you can wait till it dry a little bit and rub it off. It'll peel right off. Or you could take some alcohol and the rag and rub it off and it'll come off as well. I had Plasti Dip all over like different areas that the uh, plastic uh, and the tape didn't cover because I got lazy. <laughs> so all I did was once you spray it on, right, and you finish your, your all of your coats, you finish all eight of your coats. It took me eight coats. That's why I'm saying eight. So once you finish spraying it, if you look all the way inside the little cracks, you see that? You can still see it's a little plastic dip inside of there, but you can't see it when you're standing, you know, right next to it. You got to really get up in there to see. But what you want to do is any overspray that reaches like on the white, you can start to pull. But you pull away from the grill. Don't pull like that. You pull away. So away, away, away. Any any plastic dip that's oversprayed. And it's gonna it's actually just gonna start ripping off by itself. So all the way around, it'll rip itself off. But do it slow and steady. And that's it. It'll come right off. Oh yeah, that's my grill, y'all. That's my grill. You can see I messed up here. See? This is what happens when you mess up. See that little spot there? So, one day, when I get some real time, I'm just gonna take the plastic dip off of this area and just respray it. See? But, I took it through the car wash uh, three times now, and it's been good. Just... If you're gonna go through a car wash, you know how before you go through the car wash, I don't know if it's like this, which you know, at your car wash, but at the car wash that I go to, they hit your whole car with a brush first. They do the little brush or whatever, and then you go through the car wash housing area or whatever. But uh, I always tell them don't hit the grill. You know, like don't use the brush on the grill, because if you use the brush, or a microfiber cloth on the grill and you have any spaces that's cracked or peeled up a little bit you can peel it right on up so 
you just want to be mindful of that if you do a good job if you do a good prep right and then you do a nice spray the eight layers you'll be all right i had my tucson was plasti dipped as well and even when i took it into the dealer they took it just like that they didn't even notice that it was plasti dip and he asked me he was like how you get a black grill i told him that it was plastic he said wow this looks really good but um it's it's real simple just remember prep first take your time do your spraying it'll come out right you do your first coat one coat got to be a light coat you know you don't don't spray the whole thing all crazy and all of that just do a light coat a little dust across then wait then you wait 15 minutes at least this this is how i did it i waited 15 minutes after the first coat i sprayed another coat on i waited 15 minutes after that i sprayed another coat i waited five minutes and then i sprayed another coat five minutes and then all the way through i just waited five minutes in between each coat and it worked out for me so i mean you know try it trial and error so <clears throat> let me show y'all why the Santa Cruz is so awesome I know they say it's only a four foot bed but four foot is more than enough for my daily activities look at that see that that's my cruising trooper right there but it's more than enough for my daily activities let's check it out Woo, I like the way that opened up it's real dirty in here because like I said I use my truck for work. I really work with my truck. That's right, I keep calling in the truck. But look what I have inside of here. Let's see. Oh, look at that step. I love this little step thing here. Yeah, step up here. Hop up, boom, boom. I got my whole, there's tools in there. Little shot back there. Couple of pieces of wood. Bag with a bunch of like extra bull crap in there. My little ladder, my beach chair. I bring my beach chair because the barefoot vlogger he recommended it, so gotta do it. That's my dude. Shout out to Terry, barefoot vlogger. So, yeah, then I got a whole nother. Let's see, I, I got a saw and everything in there, but um. Yeah, this is what I carry when I'm working. I got my roof rag up top here. I never even use it. I just like the way it looks. So why not? I put it on top. It's my truck. I'm going to do what I want to do. That's it. It's a little inexpensive roof rack. Nothing crazy. Um, I got it from Harbor Freight. There's a store out here called Harbor Freight. Out, in, out here in Georgia. There's a store out here in Georgia called Harbor Freight. That's where I got it from. Uh, the rails and the roof rack got it from Harbor Freight. Pretty cool. It held up. It was on my Tucson. It worked out for my Santa Cruz. So let's go. Let's get down over here. Y'all want to see an old man jump? That's what's inside my truck. Let's see if I can pull it with one hand. Yeah. Nice little lock. Boom. Go anywhere. 